Hey Tech Talk viewers, this is the Chan Clan unboxing the new i9 core 11900K Intel Pentium processor. I don't even have a Pentium in there anymore. I guess it's just an Intel processor. Uh, just like its predecessors, this flagship unlocked top of the line octa core CPU is in a dazzling box. Uh, but unlike the n-gram of the previous i9 9900K, uh, this one is a little more conservative. Now, we did get a 10900K, and that one just came in a normal blue box. But these fancy kind of boxes always are a little tricky to unpack. So this one, uh, Intel sponsor of the Olympics that never happened, uh, does feature a magnetic part of the box. So what you will have to do, I used an X-Acto knife, is to slice down that label or to carefully peel it off. This, this way it's a little cleaner. And then you'll see that this area here just opens and it peels off like so. And you can actually see that this is a magnet that reattaches and snaps back right like that. So essentially the outer shell does not slide off very easily. Uh, you'll have to cut the label. Um, and then you're left with the casing, which is a plastic, molded plastic case that has two tabs. Um, and this is on the top and this is on the bottom. They're symmetrical. You push down on these tabs on the top and on the bottom, you'll be able to pop this case open. Maybe. Bottom one's kind of stuck. Who makes these packages, right? I did not buy this for the package. Oh my gosh. Top, there we go. Bottom. What's with this bottom one? Is that a hinge? Am I gonna snap it? Well, the bottom one doesn't really open. Anyways. Yeah, not the most intuitive packaging here. Uh, the top one does kind of hinge open. Bottom didn't really open for me, but it looks like it's molded. It's kind of like slid in there. Maybe it's just meant to open at the top. <laughs> there you go. That's the, 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 the plastic package. And then the actual chip is just in this... Uh, in this paper sleeve here. So uh, talking about this chip, this chip is the new Rocket Lake uh, series, the back ported 10 nanometer chip that is being still fabricated on the Intel 14 nanometer process. And this Rocket Lake series is the first to support PCIe 4.0, but you'll need a Z590 series motherboard. So I got a ASRock or AS, AS Rock, um, what I get? I got the PG Velocita one because I wanted more USB ports. So we're gonna put this into our my latest my my current build and daisy chain down the um, upgrades for everybody else. So Core i9 sticker, just uh, the new marketing and branding uh, logo for Intel. Don't know what they write in there. But here's the chip itself, socket uh, 1200, just like uh, the others in the series. So this is a uh, 3.5 gigahertz chip, octa-core, uh, that does turbo to, what, 5.3, I believe. Um, different architecture, so in some instances it is faster than the 10900K series. But the power consumption is through the roof, and because they had to backport this to the 14 nanometer process, the process, they lost the ability to shrink this uh, to 10 cores. So going from actually the uh, 10900K, I will actually lose uh, some multi-threading capabilities going to an octa core. But you know, really, I don't do too much stuff. <laughs> sure, I. Uh, add some titles to these uh, videos that I shoot just for fun, 
and uh, we encode some video, so maybe the i9 11900K may encode a little slower because it only has eight cores instead of 10. But in our Chanclan gaming videos where CPU does matter in some um, graphics intensive games, theoretically the 11900 will be a little faster. Main reason I went up to this chipset, which wasn't, this is gonna be a very uh, temporary chipset. It's almost like Windows Millennium Edition is just gonna be skipped over. Uh, just because the new uh, 10 nanometer chips do sound like they are coming out from Intel in the later part of this year. So the only advantage of getting this chipset right now is if you have a PCIe 4 device, which I do have with the Samsung 980 um, uh, drive that uh, I previously reviewed on another video, um, and just kind of getting the PCIe 4.0 uh, plugged in. So that should be fun. We'll see how that goes. And uh, anyways, this is how you unpack and unpackage the uh, new i9 11900K uh, top of the line Rocket Lake processor. Uh, if you're able to find this, uh, I got this at Newegg. It's scalped up to six hundred thirteen dollars instead of five, what five forty nine thirty nine that Intel recommended, but. In this day and age with uh, microprocessor shortages, I'm no surprise that they are gouging. Anyways, like our video if it helped you figure out how to unbox this uh, chip. Uh, leave your comments and rail on Intel's release of this chip or praise its uh, performance. But frankly, uh, if you don't need this, uh, it's probably an iterative increase in performance, marginal 14% increase in uh, performance with uh, very little benefit. Uh, bang for your buck right now, I'd recommend the 10 series of uh, chips. Uh, the 10850K is the sweet spot, especially with those discounts, bring it down to even under 400 uh, with the Z490 chips at motherboards. All right, thanks for watching. This is Chain Clamp um, Tech Talk unboxing the Intel i9. 11900K new um, CPU.